the Ask Steve Show, and this is I'm Steve, and today we're going to do a how-to segment on how to clean the Fargo DTC 1000 printer, and uh, as always, we'll have the bad photo ID of the day. Um, before we get it started on our how-to session, we have the Fargo DTC 1000 printer right here. I want to talk a little bit about this printer. It's a great printer. It's got you can come with it single-sided or dual-sided, so one-sided or two-sided printing, your choice. 100 cards in, feed in, 30 cards out. Um, you have options on this printer of a mag encoder, ethernet connection, uh, contact, smart card encoder, but it doesn't have the dual hopper, which some of the Fargo printers have. This is the economy model. If you're doing a smaller amount of IDs and want something that's cost effective, this would be the printer for you. Um, it has a USB connection standard. It comes with a two year warranty and it's energy star approved. So it saves energy, um, best in its class. Um, so now we're gonna get to the how to segment and that's gonna be how to clean the Fargo DTC 1000. And to show us how to do that is Douglas from our tech department. Thanks Steve. So um, the cleaning kit that you're gonna get is gonna look a lot like this. Um, inside, you're gonna have some of the sticky rollers and some of the cleaning swabs. Also is a packet that has instructions of how to clean it. Um, there's a couple ways you can clean it. You can clean it just a quick clean through here or you can go through the printer driver and also clean it. Um, today I'm going to do the quick clean up. Um, what, you, how you're, what you're gonna wanna do is first take out the ribbon and take out the cards. From there, you want to leave the front open. Grab one of your sticky cards. Peel off the back and the front. And from there, on top of the card hopper is a little tiny slot where you can put in one card at a time. You're going to go ahead and put it in there. And once this starts going, you can go ahead and slide it in and out of the printer um, a couple times. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and pull it out, take a look at it, see if it's real dirty or if it's really any dirty. And you can actually go ahead and as long as it's still sticky, you can still run it through the printer a couple times. Do you flip it over when you do that? Yes. Oh, that's okay. And then you are good to go. Just make sure that after that, you want to get one of the swabs. And you can bend it in half if you want or you can squeeze it as long as you hear a snap. Go ahead and pump it a couple times. Get some alcohol running into the cotton up, up there. From there, right inside of this there's a little kind of like a triangle bracket on top of that is where the print head is and that's where you want to run this back and forth a couple times make sure you get all the dirt that's on there off from there you want to let it dry out a couple seconds go ahead and put the cards back in and then you can go ahead put the ribbon back in now you're good to go. All right. Thanks, Douglas. Mm -hmm. As promised, here's the bad photo ID of the day. And while you're looking at that, um, if you have any questions, submit them to us on our website, at our Facebook. And uh, our website is idedge.com. Our phone number is 800-798-3343. So give us a call and we'll help you with the correct uh, printer selection and we also service printers, so anything you need, uh, we can help you with on the photo ID area. Uh, give us a call and uh, let us help you out.